This is Aaron on the Tom Likas Show. Hey, Tom, how you doing? I'm doing okay. Awesome. It's a pleasure to talk to you, by the way. Thank you. I need your advice, buddy. Um, I've been married about a year and a half. Uh, right after we were married, my wife sits me down and admits to me, after basically making me move out of state, mm -hmm. by the way, mm -hmm. quitting her job right after we get married. Mm -hmm. We move out of state. She tells me she's been she's been making out with some other guy back in you know, L.A., where we we had just moved from, before and after we had gotten married. Uh -huh. Okay, so that was hard enough. But I was like out of state, out of my element. I had nothing, you know. I finally forgave her. Just recently, she sits me down and tells me it's been happening again with the same guy. We're back in L.A. now. Uh huh. Now, I mean, just she feels she sits me down. She says, "Well, things have been going so great with us, and you know, we're we're not fighting anymore." They're going so great. I stuck my tongue in another man's mouth. That's how great our relationship is. Exactly. If this is a girlfriend, she's gone. You know, no, no question, but we're married. She swears she didn't mess around. Do you have children? What's that? Do you have children? No, we have no kids. Are you planning kids. on it? Hell no. Well, you know what? Uh, that is unacceptable. It's, uh, you, I mean, so what would you do in this case, Tom? I, I, dump it's really hard. that bitch. You have to dump her. I have to dump her. You have no choice. You have to dump her. What a, you know, that sounds like something uh, that a very cunning person would come up with uh, to, to get away with. Oh, our relationship is going so well, I feel I can tell you anything. Like that time I uh, went down on the guy in the uh, parking lot of the disco. You know, I, honey, other guys, I, I could never tell them something like that. But you, I can. It's like testing you to see how much of a pussy you are. Don't fail the test. Oh, man, I wish I'd listened to you before I got married. I, I didn't know you were around. Jeez, so I got I got a dumper. I mean, I'm have a divorce. To. I mean, that, that's a divorce. That's Jeez, right. No, pal, you know, you're 24. You were too young to get married, as I tell men on this show all the time. I know. It's too late for me now. But Well, yeah. no, it's, but you see, because you don't have kids, you can fix it. And just take, cut my losses right now. Right. I'll bet you don't have a prenup or anything either. Uh, no, no. I wasn't of course not. That. So no. she can rape you in court and then go take the money she gets from you and continue kissing other men. And uh, that's an expensive lesson you're going to have to learn. But wow. it's completely unacceptable. I mean, period. Yeah, that, so that is cheating, no matter how you Well, I, in fact is, you, you, you forgave her once, and she did it again. Yeah, exactly. Done. Done. I mean, well, why is there even a question? Well, because it's, it's a marriage thing, and it's so hard. Your wife is a slut. As my parents hate her, too. So, well, know. case closed. Have you told your parents what's going on over there? No, I haven't told anybody. They, don't, they hate her. They don't even know. You're I'm so embarrassed right now. You're the only person I could turn to, you know? I understand. Now, why do your parents hate her? Well, because basically everybody sees that she treats me like she uses me, and uh, uh, they don't like that. But well, I let her walk all over me, and I know it. Well, and, and again, that's because you got married too young. And now the real personality of this person is coming out. Like the other woman who called in, Paris, who called the show, and uh, got engaged to a guy within a year, and now uh, he wants to do degrading things to her on video, and she doesn't like uh, being videotaped doing degrading things. And uh, she's never met his friends or family or anything like that, and now she's finding out what the real person is like. And now you're finding out what your wife is really like. So just, I mean, and just, I'll give you the topper here, Tom, because this should seal it for you. She, like I told you, a month after we've been dating for three years, and you know she was working the whole entire time. Uh huh. I graduated college and everything, and got my job. A month after we're married, I, she quits her job. And I tell her not quit. Don't I, quit until you have something. Don't quit until you have something oh, else. Oh no, that way she gets alimony uh, once you dump her. Oh, is that right? Of course. You're working. She's not. <laughs> does she have an attorney? I'll bet she does. Oh, well, I don't know about that. Well, in California, pal, uh, the, you pay one month uh, for every uh, two, every two months, for one month for every two months you're together. Oh, wow. So every That's day you better. stay, every two days you stay, you owe another day. Oh, my gosh. Uh, Tom, thank you. Uh, I, how do I do this? I mean... How do you get a divorce? I mean, I, how do I even... Because I've been stewing about this for about well, pal. a month now. Pal, do you, what are you stewing? I, you know what? We'll do it right now. We'll call her right now and tell. <laughs> uh, I'll be here to... Uh, no, I'll be here with you to support you. Oh, buddy, yeah. Uh, I'm here to help. I know, I know. We call her right now. We'll tell her. And you know what? If you can't do it, I'll help you. She's in class at school. 
Uh, so I know she, her phone is off. But, uh, well, because I'm sending her to school, by the way, so she can become. Oh, and you're paying for that. Oh, of course. She, well, you know what? She's smarter than you are, I'll tell you that. Well, I know, and that's why I'm trying to wise up here. Well, uh, you know what? I, they, again, every day you stay with her, you're paying. Every day. Not yeah. just today, but in the future. Yeah. That's how vagina money works in California. If you get divorced and she's not working and you are, you owe her a day for every two days you're together. You say I have low self-esteem, is that it? Oh, like, by all means. And by the way, your parents know it, your friends know it. I think I'm scared I can't get another chick or something. I don't know. Aaron, you're 24. And and, and you've been with her since you were 19? Yeah, tw 19, 20, something like yeah, that. Well, yeah, well, you know what? A lot of guys who are 19 or 20... Uh, latch on to the first chick that pays attention to them because when you're 19 or 20, chicks who are 19 or 20 don't want to go out with you. They're going out with 30-year-olds. Right. Right? So you find a chick who talks to you, has sex with you, whatever, and you latch on to her, not realizing that had you held out until you were 30, you'd be getting the 22-year-olds, the 19-year-olds, the 20-year-olds. Well, I wish I listened to you a couple of years ago. Fact is that uh, what I recommend to guys who are 19 and 20 who aren't getting any is to go out with the 35-year-olds, uh, the 40-year-olds. The, these chicks are like dying to have a 20-year-old. Uh, tell them they're beautiful. Or that's least, what I hear. And, and so that's who does the heavy lifting until you're old enough and established enough in your career uh, to get the 19-year-olds, which ultimately you get. Right. Wow. Or, yeah, I don't see any other choice. It's just there is no know, other choice. Do it, get break getting up the nerve to do it. And by the way, who knows what she actually has done? This is what she's admitted to. Yes. Yeah. For example, uh, I mean, she seems really cunning and evil, and from what you're telling me, and it's entirely possible she's telling you this in case rumors started to surface that she had had sex with somebody. She goes, "No, I told you about that. I only kissed him, and I told you. It's not like I was hiding anything. I told you about it." But, uh, then she throws in when she tells me, she tells me this last time, oh, by the way, when we were dating, I was still effing uh, this other guy. Well, why, what makes you think she wouldn't do it now? Yeah, you're right. You're absolutely and right. I believe she is doing it now. I, I have to, and that's why I've been stewing on this for about a month. I've been, I need your advice. Uh, uh -huh. You're the only guy I could turn to. You know everything. You're the master. Well, literally, do you have an attorney, Aaron? No, I don't have one. I attorney. recommend you get one. I'm extremely poor. <laughs> well, I understand that, but uh, you need to find, you know, and talk to your parents. Uh, you know, if your parents hate her, they'll help you pay for it. Uh, you know, you might be right there. All right, so you would talk to your parents, tell them you uh, realize the error of your ways, and that you need them to help you get a retainer to get an attorney. And there are attorneys out there who will take your case, and they will tell you what to do. And there's certain things you need to do with your finances right now uh, to minimize the damage to you. Don't cheap out. Get an attorney. Uh, definitely. All right, and uh, good luck. Thanks a lot, Tom. I appreciate it. Aaron, as you know, I'm always here for you.